do you ever feel like pulling your hair out because what you want to do is not working? Uh, remember day three is layered tag, not a problem, and retro film strip. I thought I had a plan for that because I have a die of a film strip, a Tim Holtz one. But do you think that will go through transparency? Mm. Welcome to the messy junk room where we create whatever. So life has happened <laughs> and just got really crazy, which changes plans. And I worked hard on this video and not able to put two sentences together. So I've scrapped it and I'm just going to show you the end result. So this is going to be a, a sweet short, short one. And I'm not sure when I will be able to get back to Defemorember as uh, things unfold. However, let's open up the advent calendar. This is from Art by Marlene. This is my third year doing the advent calendar by her. Yesterday was words, and I, I used that in that prompt yesterday. Trust the process. Yesterday was uh, antique keys and altered playing card. And this I turned into a pocket. So that was yesterday's. Words, yesterday's. And then today, let's see. I love these colors. This boldness, the brightness of it. But I don't work with these colors. I'm a grungy vintage girl. Oh, it's a stencil today. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. And it's a peacock feather. And that is my favorite bird, the peacock. That's so beautiful. I'm going to leave it in here just to, to keep it all together. Oh, so that's day three. I love advent calendars. Today's prompt was layered tag and retro film strip. Now please... I can't say enough good stuff about Barbara and Louisa. Please visit their channels. This is their their baby, Defemorember, which is your ephemera inspiration in December. I'm going with a Christmas journal. They don't do uh, Christmas themed stuff. Anybody can participate. And the basic premise is just to be creative in December making ephemera for your journals using what you have and so they have freebies they have lots of inspiration they are two very different um, crafters and so it's so fun to see how they they do um, these prompts that were created for Defemorember and their videos come out at midnight, actually 12.01 a.m. my time. And so I stay up to watch watch them. And then I, I go to sleep after that with uh, ideas spinning in my head. So today is Layer Tay and Retro Film Strip. Now I have dies of film strips. Uh, one is from Tim Holtz. So I have three different ones. There's another size somewhere on my desk here. Oh, here it is. Everything's getting all mucked up here. And none of these want to cut through transparency. Acetate. I fought for a couple hours trying to get these film strips. 
they come out perfectly. I, I know it was cutting because it would produce these with the acetate because I had paper under it. So I know it was cutting through, but it did not want to cut the acetate. So I spent a lot of time <laughs> on getting some, which I finally did. And then I took inks, all these inks, using gloves. Some of them, the their names aren't even on it anymore. This one is Ginger. Um, I think there was a, like a honey one. So I used I used these to dye the acetate, and then I took the film strips. See this one's still in in there. It just it didn't want to cut through. I dyed them and then I used my tag dye with file folder. So I did one and then I put the film strips going different ways. And then I put another tag on top of that to hold those film strips in between here. And then I put another layer on top of that. And then the third tag. So there's actually three tags. So this is very layered. And then I just put some font script stamp and got my vintage pictures out. These are from Digis and Freebies. And I've just, I'm using it just to stick these pictures in to represent old film strips and vintage, vintage people. And so what it looks like, the glue is still wet, so I will be sewing around this and it's going to look good on any page, but I put something on the left side, so I want to get a page on the right side. And I'm going to glue it directly onto the page. I'm not turning it into a pocket because the film strips will be used for the, the pockets. And I can play around with these pictures. And that one's way in the back, so it looks further away. And I have a, I have a real photograph that I picked up at an antique store and I thought I might use it on this side because I think it would look nice. So this is not a typical video, but give it a go. Use what you have. They have um, freebies so if you don't have anything to make the film strips, don't fret. Head on over to their channels and uh, get the freebies and you'll have what you need. So I hope you have a wonderful time crafting wherever you are and whatever time it is for you. And eventually I'll, I'll catch up with everybody once I know what, what is happening. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye-bye.